Hey guys, it's Doug Giles again with Creative Restorations, and we are back with part three of hopefully a four-part video of the outdoor pool table. Now, this outdoor pool table is giving me absolute fits. If you didn't figure that out from part one or part two, you know, th this table is like it's on, it's, it's on life support. Um, can it be fixed? Yeah, it can be fixed, but it is doing, it's, it's almost like it's doing everything it can to say, let me just die already. And I can't let it die. I'm like the surgeon that sits there or the, or the, the doctor that sits there and keeps pounding on somebody's chest to keep their heart beating after they've, you know, kicked the bucket and, the table, it's like it just wants to give up the ghost, and I can't let it do it. So, this table has been giving me fits. Uh, what started out, what should have been just a simple recover, re-level, and uh, in this is in case you missed part one and part two. It started off as just supposed to be a simple recover, re-level, maybe change out the rubber on it. Yes, the rubber needed to be changed out on it as well. Turns out that the rails, uh, at least one of the rails was was rotten. The wood on one of the rails was rotten. Uh, the entire top end of the table needed to be disassembled all the way down to the frame, which floated on top of the legs. No bolts holding the front, holding the top of the table to the legs. So, um, for all intents and purposes, we disassembled this table completely. Uh, and then, uh, as we're disassembling it, come to find out, instead of it having normal framed slates or lined slates, uh, it's just slate, you know, raw slate. Forgive me, I just hit the microphone. Don't want to hit the microphone. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, it just had raw slate or, or unframed slate on top of two four by eight or two two by eight plywood half inch thick plywood, uh, sheets of plywood. And it's like, and it, well, if you know anything about the laws of gravity and, and density and flexibility, you'd know that, well, slate is a rock. You know, on one hand, you got rock that's been honed out and milled out to one inch thick. And on the other hand, you got half inch plywood. Let's see if the two of them well, you got the, the, the hard, heavy, dense rock on top of this plywood, and uh, you've, got, uh, you've got to level them out. Independent, each piece of slate, in, independent of the other ones, how do you go about doing it? And which one is going to give, the plywood or the slate? Okay, The flexibility of the plywood, is the plywood more flexible than, than the slate is heavy? Okay, because if the slate is too heavy, when you go to put your wedges in, it bends down the plywood. And that's exactly what happened. So the fix for it, as you will see, and for anybody that's watching this video and you don't know uh, how to replace the slate liners on, on your table, this is a good video for you to f find out how to go about doing it again the right way there are get by ways of doing this but the way that i'm going to show you here is the proper way of replacing the liners on the slate so without further ado let's get into it i'll show you what we're doing and let's replace some liners Five and three quarters, I might have.
I think it's in... That's five. Close enough. stick. Flip it and wiggle it back and forth. Make sure you leave this this a little bit long. And then we're gonna move on. over. Wiggle it back and forth. I don't care if we get squeeze out or anything because I'm going to clean it all up if necessary. Now take this one.
this way. round off the edge there. Yeah. That gives the cloth some place to go. All right, now let's put this back even. Okay, now as you saw in the video, um, the slate did not have liners to begin with. And if you're watching this video because your table has slate liners and they need to be replaced, maybe you've got a, a, a 50, 60 year old three piece slate commercial table that came out of a pool hall and those slate liners are just chewed up from decades and decades of people using upholstery tax on it and chewing up that wood. Um, it's real easy. Just take those off, you know, take off those, use a, a hammer and chisel and pop off those wooden slate liners. If the, sometimes they're screwed on in some of the older Brunswick's, the slate liners are actually screwed to the slates themselves, in which case you can unscrew them, take them off, put, uh, replacement pieces on there. And, uh, you know, you want to attach them a slightly oversized with the exception of the width and length of the table when it comes to the pockets you want it to be slightly oversized but you want those uh those slate liners to recess in away from the edge of the the slate about an eighth of an inch on either side an eighth to a quarter of an inch uh on either side uh on any way around it okay because when you put the slates together you don't want to hit wood to wood you want slate to slate to hit uh, around the outer perimeter 
okay? You don't want to recess it too far back because, again, I mean, that's further that you're going to have to stretch that cloth back and staple it. But in the pockets, specifically in the pockets, you really want to use the technique of a router and a straight cutting bit, a flush cutting bit, I should say, and come back and bevel that edge. That's going to make for a really nice, clean install of the cloth when everything is all said and done. So I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, stick around for part four, which will be coming up when the weather gets a bit warmer. As of right now, everybody's going through a really bad cold snap. It is like 35 degrees outside here in New Orleans right now. And, you know, this is an outdoor pool table. And I don't really think that the owner is, is too, too keen on getting out there in 35 degree weather to go play pool outside. So once the weather warms back up and dries out a bit too, because we've had a bit, bit of rain, we'll be get shooting part four, which will be putting everything back together. So until the next video, we will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for commenting, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing, and always thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put up a new video. See you on the next one.